Hello, and welcome back to Blasphemous. It has been over a week since I've been able to play anything in the Archipelago multi-world, but I have finally received my last items, and we can uh, go on to the first of several uh, boss enemies. So the one that I was waiting on was the Deformed Mask of Restes. Which will let us take this elevator up to the top. And so I set this to be Tiento to your Thorned Hairs as my spell. We have some protection uh, for the boss fight against Chrysanta. Uh, I am using uh, Smoking Heart of Incense for increased fervor cost, but also increased power and duration of, of prayers. And aside from that, the rest of this doesn't really matter. Double jump, I guess, is kind of useful in battle. I'm still missing one. What am I? It doesn't matter. And then here. I am missing the Silver Grape, which is the best defensive item in the game, and it's what I want to be running. So we will make do with the Ember of the Holy Formation instead, which is the moderate defensive item rather than the good one. And I also put in the Drop of Coagulated Ink for increased spell power, which I don't think matters for this fight, but it's what we're going to be doing um, for the other fights. I'm basically going to be running the same thing. I'll just swap out my spell between fights. Uh, Apodictic Heart of Mea Culpa trembles, but I will not equip it because, well, that would make this a lot harder. Uh, that particular heart increases the damage of your weapon. Ah, uh, me. I find the dash move is really good against her. You can always punish her after a parry. Bad. Nope. Oh, can I even parry? I guess so. Alright, I have my invulnerability. I don't need to actually worry about... Hmm, don't have to worry about parrying its attack necessarily. Oh, just wait. He still hit me. So she just hit me through the spell. I guess I didn't actually get protection. Interesting. Alright, so that's the first boss down. And the one of the final boss gauntlet that gives me the most trouble. So from here... Well, let's actually switch to... Morabalus to return to port. Talk to you and get your check. Rupees which don't matter because the only item that exists in the world so far, uh, left at this point. Well, there are two of them. There is Miriam's challenge, which I can do all of that for ten arrows for a Zelda player, which I'm not interested in doing. Doesn't seem worth it. And there's the second item which we need to beat the game, because I have the uh, hardest ending one. Now that we've beaten Crisanta. We can go to this church. Uh, this door opens when you have the incomplete scapular. Talk to her. And get the holy wound of abnegation. And with that, check my inventory here. So I've got the four holy wounds. And I've got uh, Custodia of Sin, which is all of the Thorn upgrades. So I am now set for Ending C, which is my victory condition. 
Uh, this particular item, the Holy Wound of Abnegation, is never randomized. It's always in that location. Not sure why they decided to do that, but uh, I guess it just means that you need the incomplete scapular and you have to run here after fighting for Santa. So that's just how they set this randomizer up. But yeah, only remaining item are those 10 arrows. I'm not going to bother getting. Uh, we will defeat the final boss of the deambulatory of his holiness and just, I guess, send out the arrows by doing that anyway. So, Zarabanda of the Safe Haven. If you're playing vanilla, the uh, check that we would get here would be this spell. It is, in my opinion, the best spell in the game, and I am running the Quadrilated uh, Drop of Ink, which increases my spell power, and the, I think it was the Cerulean Heart of Incense, which also increases spell power. So that should be very effective, particular for the second stage of this fight. First fight here, I'm not too concerned about. What? Too far back? Yeah, it's too far back. Oh, he does wind. I don't remember this attack. This is... There you see, he doesn't have a lot of health. Okay, didn't quite get through. Okay. Alright, so we took one hit. But that is uh, the first stage of the final boss done. This should be pretty quick. Uh, the second stage, the double jump relic that we have, the purified hand of the nun, really just trivializes this fight. Okay, so we did so much damage there. Yeah, but with double jump, we can just get up here and counter jump. We have to attack the. Uh... Oh, I'm gonna die. Hold on. Didn't break out in time. And then I got stun locked. Okay, well, we didn't get him in one cycle. But yeah, with double jump, that's pretty easy. Right, I guess I didn't have any of my spell defense items on, because I was going full offense with this build. Thuma Blasphemia. Habéis la esa oso. But wait, there's more. So that would have gotten us ending uh, ending A. But now, because we have all of the thorns and the holy wound of oh, holy wound of uh, thorns ending A, uh, holy wound of abnegation is slow double jump. Okay, is ending C. Uh, but we can't cast spells anymore. Uh, the double jump relic might only exist because of um, because it's a mod thing. Now we have uh, that was not the way to do that.
This attack. We're really Okay. Well, let's uh, restart this with actual full potions. It's weird that we don't get a don't get a heal. a good time to be aggressive. have any trouble with this box. This is... Oh shoot. I have to drink a potion. One more hit and then have to heal. Now which side of this one on? Okay. Oh shoot. Didn't have enough time to get the combo off. Well, this is a pretty poor showing. Okay, man, should I get him before he can spawn? And there we go. 
no idea how to dodge that last attack he was just doing there because uh, he's never survived long enough to actually get it off. Once you're at that point, he's basically dead. El guardián acá delante os espera. Avanzad ahora. Alright, and that is Blasphemous. Can I do Ending C in the randomizer? Because... It just has more uh, requirements, so it makes the game feel a little bit more interactive with the others in the, the multi-world. But uh, I would say my favorite ending in the game is ending. Corruptible hand of the fraternal master was the relic that we were missing. There's a reason I couldn't remember that one. It doesn't do anything. I think it gives you hints that there's a secret nearby, which is uh, not the most useful thing. If we already know the game. The loss of the mea culpa, I guess we also lose ourselves. Mea culpa being the name of our sword. And to find out what this is about, I guess I need to play Blasphemous 2. I've heard it's a very good game, uh, and it's a better Metroidvania than the first was, in terms of actually being a Metroidvania. So I am very much looking forward to doing that, and I'll probably do that on the channel once I get around to it. Uh, but with that, that is four out of six games down. Uh, I still need ten songs, uh, ten music sheets rather, for the, uh, the Muse Dash. And then the Factorio, despite having all of the checks done, I am missing one item in order to craft my rocket silo. So there's nothing else I'm sending out in that world, but I do need to actually beat the game still. Yeah, you know, four or six down, and uh, Factorio, I guess, is the last one I'll be doing a video on. So I will be back once I have logistics system for my rocket silo. I will see you then.